One of my favorite memories growing up was Thanksgiving morning. My sister and I awoke to the smell of onions cooking on the stove, hearing my mom bustling around the kitchen. We raced to the kitchen to hurry and finish our breakfast so we could then sit in front of the television to watch the Macy's Day Parade. Oh, how we loved that. Watching the bands come down the street or the big hot air balloons and the anticipation of Santa Claus at the end. My dad coming up behind my mom, giving her a hug and turning her from the stove for an impromptu twirl around the kitchen. Then going into the den and turning on the football games. You have to have football games on Thanksgiving Day. Our excitement grew as we anticipated the guests who were coming that afternoon until finally the doorbell rang. I was usually the one that ran to the door first, so excited to see who was coming. And then the parade of family and friends shedding their coats, the smell of perfume and cologne, the sound of chattering and squeals of delight as we hugged one another. Gathering around the table, as my mom began to bring in the parade of wonderful dishes. Turkey, stuffing, mashed potatoes, corn, string bean casserole, yams, and of course, cranberry sauce. Those wonderful dinner rolls, so soft and warm and fluffy from the oven. And the all-important pumpkin pie with Cool Whip for the topping. The chatter around the table, the sharing. Oh, such a wonderful time. As the years went by, one by one, the people that had sat at the table were empty seats and then filled with children and now grandchildren as their traditions continue. On this Thanksgiving, as so many are unable to gather in person, we still gather in our hearts wishing all of you a wonderful Thanksgiving wherever you may be. So very, very thankful for you in my life. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. This is Nan O'Brien.